Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art and I have a little project I want to share with you. Um, this has been a long time in the making and those of you that know I lost my mom in June um, and those of you who have lost your mom as well um, probably will understand and relate to this. Um, so this one's for me. <laughs> uh, this project I wanted to do because you know you think about your mom a lot and um, when she's gone you you think about things that uh, as a child you connected with her and certainly uh, the things that you ate for dinner the basic recipes that mom had for you even if they were just cheese macaroni <laughs> or is it macaroni and cheese because we didn't do that one um, at least not very often it uh, it it comes back to you when you lose a parent. Some of these things. So, uh, and my daughter too knew some of my mom's recipes. Now my mom wasn't like this fantastic chef or anything, but there are a few things that when I taste them, uh, I think of her and my childhood, or that I have um, kept up myself and serve my family sometimes. And I'm getting older, and I don't remember where the lettuce is. <laughs> more so I figured I would make a recipe book and just get down some of the basics of the the things that um, had a lot of meaning and that I can get my hands on and then maybe add some of my own and then maybe my daughter can take this someday so I've made a recipe book with the farmers market uh, paper pad from Heartfelt Creations and you can get most of these things that I'm going to quickly show you from my Zibit store. So I sell Heartfelt Creations products in my Zibit store and it's just www.zibit.com and then the forward slash my my name Huckleberry Herbs. So I used the Enchanted Mom die and stamp for this. I also used the decorative lace border. This thing's so cool. And I uh, use the jars and vines stamp and the die that goes with it. And I don't think I have this one in my shop at the moment, but it's an oldie but very, very goodie. It's called the Decorative Blossom Corner, and if you did want it, uh, you could just email me and I would do a pre-order for you. So I used the um, Farmer's Market it, uh, paper pad and I thought that it was perfect for a recipe book. This is not really fancy. It's not over embellished or anything because I really am going to use it for recipes. So I just um, stamped and embossed mother's recipes and put a little bit of bling at the top there with a tag and I really love this image that comes with the paper. The color tones perfect for fall. On the inside, I left the front page blank because I probably will actually, as I add things, um, try to go in order and put the page number of where the recipe is. Here's where I have used that decorative corner and I put a little bling in the center there, a little matching tones of the olive colors. And these, I may actually go back and laminate the tags or cards that I've put in here because I will put the recipes, although on this front one I may put a photo of my mom or maybe of me and my mom and my daughter or there is one photo of uh, my grandmother included when my daughter was a baby so that might be nice to put there. And then this is my first time with the Zutter too. I have to tell you the Zutter and I we had an argument we did. Um, for this page I just fussy cut out one of the banners after putting down, I really love the wood grain and the apples in this. So again, I will put recipes on the back. I may add more things. I'm sure I'll add more things as time goes on because this is going to be a functioning book, constantly updated and changed as I add things and get recipes um, out of my mom's things or memories come back of things. Um, this one, I uh, just have a couple of the tags from the papers and I took one of the strips that comes with the papers just to make a small spot to tuck the things in. I really love the Apple um, drawings, paintings, images on this. Excuse my hand. This one I thought I will put um, on these two pages her 
homemade cranberry sauce. So that was something that was always... I never even liked cranberry sauce. I love cranberry bread. She made an awesome one of those. So if I can get that recipe, I will put it in. It took her forever. She did by hand chopping, chopping, chopping for that. Um, but it's definitely holiday related. So everyone in my family loved her cr cranberry sauce. I just, again, took the berries that were here. I know they're blackberries, but hey, they're berries. So they'll fit. One of the tags. And I may add some more. And then these are very cute. I love these tags that come with this paper pad. I pick you. And very sweet. And with this one, I just took the larger 12 by 12 because these are the 6 by 6s. And I cut the corner off and then fussy cut so that it would look a little fancy on the edge. And then on the next page, which I'm hoping is truly the next, we go. On the next page, I took one of the Enchanted Mums. And I was playing around with those the other night with Pan Pastels. I really liked stamping and then going over with Pan Pastels. Uh, I had such control over the color tones. And um, I just spray them with a little of cheap, very inexpensive hairspray to seal them. And then I cut a little one of the tags out here so that between the two items it would fairly decently hold in these. And then, of course, every time I use this uh, pattern, I can never <laughs> remember the name once I start the video. Hello! Uh, well, it's beautiful. All the colors of the paper are in here. And on these, I may write or put something more permanent. Um, and then, you know, it depends on how many recipes I put in here. Uh, so kindness, have a sweet day. And then these two tags in here will become places to write recipes, to journal, to maybe put a picture of a holiday back in the day. Again, those apples show up on this lovely one, and I fussy cut this out so that I could at least get one of them. Work in progress, so I would not call this finished at all. And then on the other side, this is only a portion of that, that die, the lace die. So I took and cut off the bottom part of it and I used that elsewhere and took this part here so that I would have a place to put, again, all from the same paper pad and a few tags in there. And again, so there's no pockets. It's not covered in flowers. Uh, it's going to go in the kitchen and it's going to be functional. So I wanted to keep it flat and have little uh, what, cause for it to be torn and, and, and have problems. So. Um, a little freshly, fresh pick, picked and perfectly sweet on this one. And uh, again, the corner die. I really liked using the black against all this. I really actually like mini albums that have um, black as the framing, as the matting, as the um, backing board and stuff. And this one I just took a, a little um, die cut border so that I could get a couple more tags in here. And there's the peaches and butterfly versions of the paper. This one I haven't done anything with. I think I want to save it uh, for one of the last things because I really like the images and the colors. So I may come back and, you know, maybe use a piece of lace or do something different in that one, save it for something special. And, oh, I almost had the word. I almost had the word. <laughs> Anyway, there's a larger version, another one with the borders, a couple more of the apples, and in the next page I put the border a little bit thicker on the side, some more of the tags, the lovely vegetable image that goes with this, another lovely pattern shows up here. Another one that I think with these berries I'm going to do something different and add something that isn't already in the book. With this one, I just cut out the bottles that come with the paper, and I love this image. And it says, homegrown with love at the top. And I just put that cultivate love, and these two, again, to put pictures and recipes. And here is another page where I did the same thing, fussy cut the bottle. These bottles, just lovely. Think of um, 
oils and, and special um, blends that people might keep out in the kitchen for themselves. Again, this page I really love too, so I'm going to save it for last until I decide what I want to do with it. But Harvest Blessings Handmade, uh, just for you. A little bit of all of the um, parts of the papers and the butterflies and the bottles and the apples and the peach. Everything's represented here. And here's a larger version of that. And there is the other part of that lace. So I just made a little piece on the bottom. Another tag. Some of the larger tags are very nice. They'll fit a lot of recipes. And I'll, you know, just even if I uh, glue a, an index card here with the recipe and then maybe put it through my little laminating machine. So that one's rather simple. Again, might do some more work with this at some point. And then on this one, I actually stuck some metal pieces for the corners on that so that I would have a place to tuck another spot for recipes and pictures. Both of these have um, openings so that I can put more tags and I do have a lot of paper left so I will probably go back and add to this but this has been a long time in the making like I said and I did want to get it somewhat complete and share it with you guys uh, again first time with the Zutter and the Zutter and I we've had a bit of an argument over this and the back is plain so far until I decide what I'm going to do with it so there is my mother's recipes memory recipe book which will actually be used in the kitchen and reminds me of my mom and I can keep all of her special recipes in a special place maybe with a few of my daughter's favorites and then pass it on to her at some point if it lasts hopefully it will Hope you all enjoyed this. Again, if you want any of the papers or the dies or the stamps, beautiful set, the Farmer's Market. They're coming out with something really incredible soon, so keep an eye out for the close-up on that. Till next time, everybody, this is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you all for subscribing. God bless everyone.